guys, my name is Lisa Grace and this is Nailcomer's YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy this video. Hello my lovelies. Right, so we are doing a Valentine nail on this one. Um, so as you can see, I've already got my tip on, I've done my cuticle work and I've etched the nail plate. So I'm going to come in with the nail prep. This will dehydrate the nail, get rid of any oils. And as you can see, that's going to dry pretty quick. And then I'm coming in with the Ultra Bond. I say it every time, if you haven't got this, you need this. This is definitely the best bonder I've ever used. Of course, I'm biased because I love Nailcomy. However, I've tried so many different bonders over the years and this one, this one's definitely the best one I've ever used. There's a reason I work for Nailcomy. <laughs> right, so just give that a few minutes to dry. So I explain every time it's still gonna retain this, this wet look. Um, but it will dry and it gets super sticky. So just give it a minute to air out uh, base coat. I need to order a new base coat. I'm getting low. Okay, so coming in. Fan your brush out, really work that base coat into the nail fabulous and then i can go into the lamp for a full cure so i'm using the pastel rose aura acrylic gel got my dappen dish and the slip solution i'm getting low on this as well i need to put an order in but pop some of that into your dappen dish Thank you, Sam. Right, so carefully squeeze this out. Make sure you're squeezing from the bottom of the tube. And I'm going to squeeze out just enough to do the nail bed. Don't worry if you get too much. I always say it's better to get too much than not enough. It's easier to take away. Pretty tricky to add. So I'm going to pop this. Bang centre of the nail. Oh, I like that colour. That's nice, isn't it? Not too much slip solution. And I'm going to start working this into the cuticle area. Angle of your brush is important. So I always keep my brush kind of flat while I'm working with the product and just getting it into that cuticle shape. And then what I do is I'll tip my brush at a 45 degree angle. <laughs> Max, shush baby. I'll take my brush at a 45 degree angle once I've spread it all out. So you can see I'm just trying to get it into position at the minute. Let me zoom in a little bit. Get the product into position and then I'm going to take my brush and just gently pat that. And as you keep patting it, it will funnel down the back of the brush at that 45 degree angle. And Get it nicely into that cuticle area. You see that? So I'm contouring the brush with the nail as well. So the brush isn't always flat. I twist it and turn it. You'll have to excuse the state of my hands, by the way. I'm covered in spray paint. So once you're happy with the cuticle area, and then going to really contour my brush and come down this side wall and pat that into the sidewall where we want it, like that. And now I can start focusing on my smile line shape. So I'm gonna gently pull this product down a little bit. What a nice deep smile. And it's just such light presses that you need to do. This product moves so nicely. Max baby, can you go lay down? Go and lay down, darling. Look in mummy's desk. So I'm using my brush on its side now, creating this wall. This nice 90 degree wall. 
And you can take as much time as you... <laughs> Max. Take as much time as you want and need with this product. You've got all the time in the world. Your brush will start to dry out while you're working with it, so you'll need to keep going back into your your slip solution. The idea of the slip solution is just to keep your brush damp so that the product doesn't stick to it. And pull that down just a little bit more, I think. Skinny this up a little bit. I have got a little bit of dust. I don't know if you can see that. A little bit of dust, but that will come off when we file, so I'm not going to worry about that. And just play with this until you're happy. I mean, you've got two choices with your Aura Gel. You can spend extra time faffing with it at this phase, or you can get it on, throw it in the lamp and file it up afterwards. Uh, but there's nothing I love more than filing out a nice crisp smile line. It brings me a weird amount of joy, so I really like to take my time with this bit and get it perfect. So when we check our side profile, We've got that 90 degree wall in here, which is what we want. Right, I'm happy with that. So if you pop that in the lamp for me, please, Sam. So colours I'm using today are Pink Gin and Ritual. Come some kind of classic Valentine's colours here. Here they are on my little pops. Nice bright pink mm -hmm. and a nice red. <coughs> so... What I need to do first, where are we? I've actually got some proper lint-free wipes. These are 100% lint-free. So I'm going to use, would you believe, I'm low. Um, something else I'm low on. <laughs> My Kiwi nail plate cleanser. Were you busy in December oh, by a chance? A little bit, a little bit. So I'm just going to remove that sticky layer. I am absolutely covered in spray paint. Get rid of all of that, and then I'm going to give this a nice file. Where's my nail file? Fabulous. So I'm just going to come in. Now I'm going to use my file, 90 degree angle, and I'm going to sharpen up <coughs> more specifically the top corner of this of this smile line. Keeping your nail file nice 90 degrees. I'm using a 180 grip for this. Um, it's probably the best grit to use for a job like this. Anything too coarse and you're going to leave scratches. Deep scratches, which we don't want. So you can see the way the dust is collecting on the edge of that smile line. That it's, that's nice and crisp. And then what I like to do at this time as well, which you can do it now or you can do it at the end. I like to file the top of my nail. That's really going to show to me. I mean, sit right in on this. That's going to show to me that I've got a real sharp corner here. And once I'm happy with that corner, I know that it's going to file out and be and be pretty spot on by the end of it. And I want to make, especially up in these corners. These corners can be quite tricky to really get that sharp, sharp corner because that's where the product thins out. So by doing this now, it just <clears throat> really ensures to me that I know I'm going to get a nice crisp smile line. Have a good dust off and let's really inspect this corner yeah i'm happy with that i can see a nice sharp edge all the way around that corner right back in with my nail plate cleanser get rid of all that dust all along this edge as well give that a good clean okay right i've got my I think this is the eight mil liner. I think this one. This is one of the um, one of the older nail can be brushes. Look at the state it's in, but it's my go-to. It's my diehard. I uh, I absolutely love this brush. Um, 
such a good brush. I'm going to come in with Pink Gin. I'm just going to load some of this up on the tip of my brush. And I'm going to paint along my smile line. And it doesn't matter if you come up and over and make a mess. Don't worry about that. But obviously it is a gel polish. So the only thing we need to really be focusing on is that we're not going too thick. Otherwise it's going to bubble in the lamp. And we don't want that. If it bubbles, then you're going to have wet product encapsulated. And we don't want that. So I'm going to come up. A little bit of fluff in there. The floof. There it is. <coughs> Max. I'm going to come up the edges of that sidewall. That's just going to make sure that when I do file it out, it's going to be really nice and crisp. And you know what? If it's not, if you're not too great with your smile lines and it does come out and it's not perfectly crisp, you can put crystals on it, you can put glitter on it, just cover it up. Use it as a good practice. Okay. When you're happy that it's up the sidewalls, I'm now going to come in with the actual brush from the... Oh, this needs a good shake. The actual brush from the bottle and paint the rest of that nail. Look at that pink, Sam. That's I'm, proper I'm Valentine pink, isn't it? And trying not to shout out in glee. <laughs> right, so um, when you're happy with your coverage, which I am, I'm going to grab a dotting tool, which I have somewhere. I need to put in a mega, mega, mega big order with an alchemy. Brace yourself, Dave. Big orders are coming. I need new everything. You know, it just gets to that time where everything needs replacing, whether it's in life or in business or work or whatever. Everything comes at once, doesn't it? Well, I'm at that point in my nail career where everything needs replacing. Uh, right, I'm going to use my dotting tool and I'm using Ritual now. And I'm going to get a bit of a dollop on the end. About this much. And I'm going to just slightly off centre on the left. I'm going to do one dot, two dot, three dot. Now they will naturally get smaller as you're moving along because there's less product on the brush. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drag through the centre. Here's where I realise I haven't got my glasses on. Through the centre like that. And oh, by pulling... Like it. I love that. <laughs> That's the idea, Sam. By pulling through that, you're creating those little love hearts that are all connected. Right, Sam, pop that in the lamp for me, please. Full cure. I'm going to go find my glasses. Sorry, okay, pull that out of the lamp. Look how cute that is. It's so simple. So, so simple. I if, love it. If you don't have... Um, if you don't have the striper brush... Uh, not the striper brush, the 8 mil liner brush, you can use an orange stick or even your dotting tool. A nice fine dotting tool will do do the trick as well uh, right I am going to be using the titanium builder gel to encapsulate the end on this so make sure you you don't wipe this off we need that sticky layer that inhibition layer and I'm just going to do an initial base of this and then as with all my builder gels I am um, I'm not a fan of using it directly with the brush that comes in the bottle I like to use a separate brush is that normal I don't know pop in the comments below how do you work so I like to grab a big blob on um, and I'll come in and keep adding to this See, it's this brush again. I use this brush for all sorts. For everything. Which is why it's in the state that it is. Because it does get used for everything. So I'm going to bring that up around that smile line. Bit of fluff off my jumper. 
and I can really keep an eye on air bubbles with this brush as well. It makes it easier to um, to get them out. Now, obviously, your Builder Gel is a gel, so it is going to move. So if at any point you need to flip that nail upside down and recenter the product, you can do. Just pull it back to the centre and then carry on. Uh, just pop that in the lamp for me, please. I'm just going to give that a flash cure and then I'm going to add little bits into any dips that I've got. Okay, so you can pop that out. So if you are adding more product, it's really important that you keep that sticky layer on there. It's just going to help this next bit of gel adhere really, really well. So checking, checking my side profile. I need more product here. So I'm going to add that on all around the smile line. Get rid of them air bubbles. Max, it's okay. We've uh, we've got a lot of um, farms around the back of our house, and uh, one of the farmers has had a, a bird scarer installed. So it bangs pretty much constantly. Pop that in the lamp for me, please, Sam. Fuck you. Yeah, so this uh, bird scare is constantly banging. And it does sound like a firework going off. And uh, Max, my blonde dog, he's terrified of fireworks. Um, so the last few weeks, <laughs> we've had to kind of... Um, he won't go out for a wee. He won't come out into the studio with me because he's scared of going in the garden. When he does come out, he dashes from the back door to the studio. He does a danger dash. Um, because he's he's scared of what he thinks is fireworks, uh, but I think it's actually helping him. He's uh, he's getting used to it. He's big brave boy. Bless him. He's such a big dog, and he can look quite not scary. I won't say he looks scary, but he looks beefy. But he's an absolute bloody pussy cat, scared of everything. Honestly, uh, right. So I've wiped off that inhibition layer. I'm going to give this nail a, go a good file, and I will be back. I'm going to file on camera so that you can see this smile line come out. Look how bloody sharp it is. Oh, I love it. This is the best bit. I used to hate um, doing pink and whites or any smile line of any description. Uh, because, you know, I, I, I always thought they were boring. Just boring pink and whites. I think that goes back to my college training. That was before nail art was even a thing. Everything was just pink and whites and it bored me. Um, so I never really bothered with them, um, which meant that I couldn't really do them and I couldn't do them well. But um, I think since doing a lot of competition training quite a few years ago and really learning how to do them, it, it made me appreciate the skill that goes into them. And now I love doing them. I love them so much. If... Um, if you haven't already, definitely look at doing some competition training. Whether you're intending on competing or not, do the training. It really, really fine-tunes your skills. It changes everything and it will change your salon nails as well. Best course I've ever done. Competition training. And I did uh, I did the pink and white competition training. And I, I will never enter a pink and white competition. It has no interest to me at all whatsoever. But the difference it made in my salon nails was incredible. So 100% recommend. Right. End of that nail found. It's looking beautiful. Sam. Sometimes I just love a simple nail. Yeah, but it's it's simple, but it's not too simple. It's, no, it's simple but effective. Sometimes yeah, a set of these, maybe with a little bit more detail, maybe like a full marble on your ring finger or something, would look absolutely beaut. Absolutely beaut. Right, let's wipe that over. Look, that is so pretty. Do you know what we need to finish this nail off with, Sam? What we're going to finish it off with? Oh, no idea. Some crystals. Right, I'm going to go dig in my crystal box. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, what we got to play with? Um, I've dug out the gold and silver crystals, uh, the black and red crystals, obviously using the red ones, and I've got the silver caviar beads. 
<clears throat> right, let's go for... Let's do it in top coat because they're all flat backs, aren't they? <laughs> Right, so I'm going to give this nail a layer of top coat. Um, you know what else I need, Sam? I have no idea. Do you know what idea. else I've lost? Go on. I've completely lost my crystal picker-upper. Do you know what I'm using at the minute? Um, Just no. a replacement head. <laughs> oh, this is what I'm using at the minute. A replacement head with the protector as its handle. Honestly, anybody would think <laughs> that wasn't a nail tag. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, so I'm going to do a mashup of the red. These reds are so pretty. The red and the silver. I'm not going to use too many reds. Not too many, not too many. I need an actual crystal picker-upper. Because this is ridiculous. Look at this, Sam. Honestly. It's pathetic. I don't know why you didn't just give me a piece of paper and a pen while we were having this conversation. Because I'm no. going to be writing down your shopping list. I'm going to have to watch this video back. For me, um... My order list of what I need. Right, uh, top tip when it comes to applying crystals don't think about it, just go and grab. Oh, another top tip don't put them on upside down. <laughs> yeah, that helps. Uh, yeah, just go in. Sometimes, well, I've got, so I've got, oh my God, you don't even want to see how many crystals I've got. It's ridiculous, my crystal collection. Uh, but I actually have um, some crystals that are separated in sizes like this or separated in size and colour. And then I have um, a separate tray of crystals that are <clears throat> either all clear or clear AB or a mixture um, different sizes, different colours, but complementary colours, and they're all mixed up. I've shaken them up, um, and I will literally just go in and pick up and pick up and pick up and pick up. And I tend to find it gives a nicer, nicer finish. If you think too much about your crystal, I mean, obviously, sometimes you need to actually think about your crystal placement. Uh, also, Sam need caviar beads. Lisa has got absolute obsession with caviar beads they're just so pretty they just finish things off so all i'm doing here i'm using the top coat i'm going to paint this now with top coat again anyway so it doesn't matter if can you see how this is leaving marks on the nail i'm just using that little bit of residue top coat to pick up my caviar beads which in turn coats the caviar beads in top coat which in turn helps them stick to the nail and then you can be a bit more precise because let's face it these little slippery suckers and again don't think about this i usually just whack some in the corners in between the crystals i think it just makes it Makes it look more packed out with crystals, even if it isn't. Give it on there. Thank you. Um, go for a couple more. Get some in here. Try not to get your top coat on your crystals, though, because it will dull them. It takes the life out of them. Okay, a couple more down here, I think. Let's extend this out a bit. And I think I want one more dinky little crystal in that corner. Like that. Okay, right. When you are happy with all of your placements, I'm going to get my top coat again. Is that my top coat? Yes, that's my top coat. Top coat. 
I'm going to kind of bounce my top coat up to all of these crystals and the caviar beads, kind of flood next to them and then bring all of that down the nail, smooth that out till your end. Okay, when you're happy, I can go into the lamp for a full cure, please, then. And I'm using the Mango Elixir Oil. Pop that out for me, please, Sam. I'm getting to the end of the bottle. Sure, well. Yeah, I know. I've got, I've got quite a few bottles of the banana because it's my favourite. It's my favourite one. Rub that round. And there you go. enjoyed this video guys don't forget to give us a little thumbs up hit like on that video drop any comments that you've got down in the comment section below and more importantly make sure you hit subscribe so that you get a notification for all of our future videos all of the products that i've used today you can find on our website which is nelkme.co.uk and i will see you in the next video